Okay guys, we're back now. We've got three of the sets of wires. We've got the VTX, the camera, and the receiver set up. And now what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna set up something that I didn't, anticip uh, didn't anticipate to do right now, but I thought, you know what, it might be a good idea. We're gonna actually set up the buzzer finder wires. And a buzzer finder, basically, it's a small device right here that has a very small battery on it, okay? And it connects to the flight controller, but if your battery, if you should crash and your battery ejects, then this battery will take over and actually start making this buzzer make a sound that will last for days or weeks while you're trying to find it. Um, it'll blink a light and it'll, it'll basically be your finder to find your lost drone. It also works when it's not ejected, even if it's just plugged in like normal, you can activate your buzzer beacon or your buzzer sound and it'll automatically start beeping. And this is a very bright light. So you've got a very bright white flashlight that'll go off and then the buzzer itself. So it's great if you've lost a quad or if you've, let's say you've crashed and somewhere in the field and you need to find it, this is one awesome way to go. So let's go ahead and <clears throat> prepare to wire that up. So again, I'm gonna bring the microscope out and I'm gonna show you where this is gonna go, okay? So let's get focused. Here we go. Perfect, okay. So one of the things you're gonna notice, and on this buzzer itself, um, you're gonna have the options here. So you're gonna end up with three wires, okay? You have a, you have a ground, a positive, and then, a, uh, and then you have this buzzer ground, right? So on here, so you have these three, you have these three wires right here. This is gonna be red, green, and black. That's what comes with the buzzer, okay? And then you have these, these pads here. So you have a uh, buzzer ground, then you have a ground, and then you have a five volt, and this is what we're gonna use. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our wires that came with the buzzer. It's gonna be these two right here, all right? And I'm gonna go ahead and put my uh, goggles on because I can't see these wires without them. Get my soldering iron, clean the tip off there so it's not putting any nasty solder on this thing and i'm going to just very i'm going to move this out of the way just because these are kind of some these are a little bit harder stranded wires so i'm just gonna basically add a little bit of tin to each i'm gonna basically try to pre-tin them just a little bit so they'll they'll solder a little bit you don't have to do that it's just one of those things that make it solder faster okay so first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the green wire and we're going to connect that to the buzzer ground right here just like that okay then we're going to take the red wire and we're going to connect that to the five volt right here boom and we're going to take the ground and we're going to connect that to the ground right here boom and that quickly you are now done okay believe it or not this thing winded up and it is ready to go so let me show you what it looks like now now that you're done there you go this is what your board should look like okay let me get my other glasses. Here we go. And so now what we're looking at is our buzzer finder wire set right here, our VTX wire set right here, our camera wire set right here, and our receiver wire set right here. We've got no, the capacitor's not here. We've got our capacitor on with our ground on our ground. And then we've got our XT30 ground and positive. Okay, it's a very quick video for this one because it's that easy. There's absolutely nothing more to it. So there you go, guys. Now I'm gonna let you take some time to look at this, compare it to your board, see what you've got, see if there's any issues, come back and check the videos out. And we're gonna, the next thing we do when we come back is we're now gonna take this flight controller and we're gonna actually mount it in our frame and get ready to do the motors, okay? So I'll see you guys in just a little bit.